My name is Gerald Herbert. I'm a photographer with the Associated Press based in New Orleans, Louisiana. I made this image covering Hurricane Michael earlier this summer. It was a very difficult place to get to. We got hammered by this storm and there was so much debris and trees down and telephone poles that would made it very difficult to get around. The scene of devastation was incredible. Mexico Beach looked like Biloxi after Hurricane Katrina. It was total devastation where there was nothing left for a lot of the town except for slabs of concrete and broken rubble. One woman was walking around trying to find an elderly lady who had stayed behind. She kept calling out her name. Aggie! Saying, Aggie! Aggie! Aggie? No, I'm talking about the lady that lived here. Unfortunately, several days later, she was found dead in the rubble right near this scene where this picture was taken. My name is Carolyn Castor. I am a photographer with the Associated Press in Washington, D.C., and I'm one of a group of photographers that covers the White House. This is a picture of President Donald Trump holding a note card. He was holding this note card during a listening session that took place at the White House. They had formed a semicircle with chairs. The president was center, and he was flanked by students, family, friends who had been affected by the school shooting in, in Florida. People were crying. People were emotional. People had things to say. This particular moment in this picture is one of those pictures where the big story can be told in the small details. The president, listening to all this powerful testimony, pulls out this note card, holds it for about 15 seconds, and then puts it back in his pocket. We photograph everything, especially trying to capture things that aren't directly presented. So when I saw the note card, of course I photographed it. At the time, I couldn't read the note card. I couldn't read that it said, I hear you on it in black Sharpie. You know, I wasn't surprised about the impact of that image because so many people were so invested in what's been going on with school shootings and the emotions in that room. I was not surprised. My name is Hassan Ammar and I am a photographer with the Associated Press based in Beirut, Lebanon. I imagined the picture before I took it so everything was uh, set up just waiting the the preparation it was waiting 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 because we have no information when where what happened what what will happen so when i took the picture by remote i didn't see it in my uh, in my eyes on the viewfinder so i was not sure what i get till i uh, saw the picture on the laptop and the moment i opened it i looked i said wow this is nice. This is what I want. This is what I was imagining before I arrived. It was everywhere in all the newspaper, front, new, front page of the newspaper, websites, uh, television. It was one of the best pictures I took in my, in my career, I think. Yeah. I'm Matt York. I am a staff photographer for the Associated Press based in Phoenix, Arizona. We arrived at the location where I made this picture with Border Patrol. It was later in the evening, uh, close to midnight, and uh, I noticed that there was a lady and her kids outside of a Border Patrol vehicle. Uh, they told me that there was a gentleman inside the vehicle, and when they opened the door to speak to him, I slipped around to the side. So I motored four or five frames. That's all I got, and I was hoping it would be in focus, um, not realizing. Uh, until I started shooting that his son was actually on his lap. Technically speaking, this isn't a phenomenal picture. It's two people sitting in the back of a truck uh, with direct strobe. Nothing special. What made this picture good was uh, the story that it told. A forlorn look on the gentleman's face, a very young son not knowing what's going on, climbing on his dad. That's what told the story. That's what we were there for. I wasn't surprised at the reception this picture received. 